You won't believe it, but this puzzle book is making an estimated $3,210 per month easily because it has got more than 2,180 sales every single month. This puzzle book is getting lots of daily sales. It sells about 146 copies every day and it has gained 1,187 reviews in just a few months. Moreover, this type of wall stitch book is very easy to make. All you need to do is to use free software which I'm going to show you later in this video to create these free puzzles and you can do all of this using AI. The best part is it can take you less than one hour to create if you have mastered it. Believe me, these types of puzzles are getting extremely popular these days. So let's find out how you can make puzzles like this and earn thousands of dollars effortlessly. Step number one, come up with a team for your book. To create puzzles like this, you first need to come up with a team for your book. And this could be, for example, something about pets, maybe animals, fruits, dogs, etc. There are different ways to come up with a niche for your puzzles, but I will show you two of my favorite ways of finding the perfect ideas. The first will be to use ChatGPT for this purpose. Now let's go to ChatGPT and ask it to create a list of niches for word search books. As soon as I enter the prompt, you can see that ChatGPT have provided me with broad niches. And from there, you can begin narrowing down the results. So let's say you like the fruit and animal niche, you can basically ask ChatGPT to give you a list of topics related to fruits and animals. As you can see, now we have sub niches related to the main niche. And you may now create a book about domestic pets, citrus fruits, farm animals, berries, and more. After that, you need to start analyzing these ideas and check how well other similar books are doing. The second way to find ideas is to look at list of bestsellers and new arrivals. All of these books are already popular and making money, so they are likely going to be successful if you work on similar topics. But of course, we don't want to just copy the same ideas as others. So let's try a different way. For example, if you want to create a word search book in the cat niche like this one, simply come over to ChatGPT and generate a list of topics related to cats. That way you can pick a sub niche and make something similar to what people are already buying. Now let me show you the product I'm working on. I did some research and found out that books in the dog niche are popular right now. Dog books are doing well, so I thought I could make something similar. I started by looking at other dog books to learn more about them. After that, I went to ChatGPT and asked it to generate a list of 20 topics related to dogs. So we are going to use these different topics to create our book. I plan to create two puzzles for each topic, so there will be a total of 40 puzzles and you can create more or less as you like. This is just an example I'm showing you. As you know, word search puzzles have two main components, the word you need to find and the puzzle itself. Let's start with generating the words. Simply ask ChatGPT to create a list of words related to the first topic, which in my case is dog breeds. I asked for 20 words because I plan to make two puzzles for each topic with 10 words in each puzzle. So all you need to do next is to keep generating the words for the topics until you are done with all of them. After that, I suggest to make a google sheet to list the topics and the words so you can keep track of everything. And once you've done that, it's time to make the puzzles and finish the book on Canva. Now to create the puzzles, we are going to be using this free website and don't worry, I'll tell you the name of this website before the end of this video. But first, focus on this video to learn how to use this free website so that by the time you know the name of this website, you can easily create your own puzzles. The title is not important and you can put anything here. The next step is to select the number of rows and columns and that depends on how difficult you want your puzzles to be. Since I'm targeting adults, I believe 15 by 15 will be great. Now enter the words. To do that, simply go back to the spreadsheet and copy the first 10 words and then paste them here. Next, choose the word directions. Again, that also depends on the difficulty level of your puzzles. After that, choose the colors for the text and grid. I prefer black for text and light gray for the grid. I will do the same for the solutions. Once you've done that, click on generate word search and finally click on download puzzle image and download solution image. As you can see, after generating the puzzle, you will get two images, the puzzle and the solution. Next, simply replace the words with the next 10 words to generate the next puzzle. Repeat this process until you have made puzzles for all the topics. I also recommend creating a separate folder for each topic that includes the puzzles and the solutions just to keep things organized. Once you finish creating the puzzles, you can start designing the interior of the book on Canva. First, start by determining the size of your book. To do this, look at similar books on Amazon to see what size they use. As you can see in this example here, the book's dimensions are 8.5 by 11 inches 
After that, head over to Canva and create a custom design using these dimensions. Begin by uploading the first puzzle and placing it in the center of the page. Next, add a new text and enter the search words for the puzzle. You can also add the topic name, puzzle number and some illustrations if you like. Once you are done, click here to duplicate the template. Then replace the image and text with the new puzzle and keep doing the same thing until you finish all the topics. The next step is to start working on the solution pages, which will be at the back of the book. Simply add the solution image next to the puzzle number and do that for all the puzzles in your book. Once you are done, download the templates as a PDF print. Now let's move on to the next step which is creating the book cover. To get started, you will need to determine the correct dimensions for the cover. Head over to Google and search for Amazon KDP cover calculator. Open the first link and fill in the required information. Once you are done, click on calculate dimensions and then download the templates. Once you have downloaded it, head back to Canva and create create a new design according to the dimensions provided in the template. But what I like to do before I start designing is to upload the PNG file and drag it into my template. Then click file and click on view settings. Then click here and you will notice a ruler appear on the page. Then use the ruler to create guidelines based on the template to ensure your book cover fits correctly. Now you can get creative and start designing the book cover. This is how my book cover turned out. I used ChatGPT to come up with the book name and Leonardo AI to generate this dog images. I suggest placing your downloaded template on top of your design and reducing its transparency to make sure your design fits correctly. Once you are done, download the cover as a PDF print. And that's it, your word search puzzle book is now complete. All you have to do next is to publish it on Amazon. If you don't know how, you can check out this video on my channel where I show you step by step how to publish your book on Amazon. And now, as I promised, let me show you the name of that secret website where you can create puzzles for free. This is the name of that website. You can find the link to this website in the description box below. Thanks for watching. If you've made it to this point in the video, I did like to say thank you for your support. I'm glad you're finding the video helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I'm always happy to help. See you next time. Bye.